hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart, for I am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. My bad, y'all. I just got a download while I was talking to y'all, and I need to get my love cards out because that's what the Holy Spirit say. The people want to hear. They want to hear about love. Today is the day where you spread some love. So let's see what's going on. Somebody, uh, uh, how they feel about this physical attraction that they have for you i'm hearing that song um there's nowhere to hide mm -hmm. when love is calling your name there's nowhere to hide mm -hmm. baby baby <laughs> there's nowhere to hide when love is calling your name there's i don't know the words other than that though but he says it a lot it's by kim it's nice and he said, ain't nowhere to have a love call of your name, okay? Somebody wants to surrender to you. Somebody knows that you wait on them. You only for them. You're loyal to them. They love that shit. You don't understand how much they love that shit. They bring so much joy to them that they are actually able in this lifetime to find somebody that brings them a lot of joy. I'm here at Maxwell. Um, I can't let my life pass me by. No, I can just try and try. Work it all out this life time work it all out this time okay this person said he feels so good that he is able to have somebody that's truthful with him okay and that you look good and that body good and that cootie mommy on point okay that person feel like damn boy i ain't finna let nobody get none of this i ain't finna let nobody take this away from me i'm not finna fuck up okay this person feels like they have been <laughs> I'm hearing they feel like they have been being good. They have been keeping their stuff to themselves, okay? They have been respecting their manhood, and they have not been whoring themselves out to the world because they feel like they need to be pure. They feel like they got to be clean for you, okay? They feel like they got to be able to come home for you because this person only seeks your pleasure anyway. They feel like I'm not finna mess up nothing with nobody else who may give me a little bit of physical attraction, okay? This person's not gonna say that they may not look or they may not see the type of feminine that they were used to or that they like and then still don't kind of look at them like, mm, you know, I would, but then they compare you to them. But they're like, I bet her stuff ain't as gushy as my bae. I bet her stuff ain't as wet as my bae. I bet her stuff ain't as fat as my bae. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing, okay? This person compares you to these other women that he used to be attracted to and there's no match. There's no match. This person said, I am only physically attracted to you. I only have eyes for you. And I will stand alone and beat my meat before I before I put myself in a position to lose you. Okay? This person said, this is not what we're doing. I'm not setting myself up for failure. I'm not no damn fool. I might be a hornball, but I am not no damn fool. Okay? So this person has been fighting all kind of urges because they either want to come to you and just kind of uh, be like, listen. I'm obsessed with you, so give it here. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to do that. Maybe this person doesn't want to push up on you too hard, but this person want to push up on you hard. Like, this person want to go in. Like, this person want to want to have some time with you. Maybe this person, maybe even want to show you some appreciation on this day. All right? I don't think this person's going to be able to, but this person, because you guys have to keep it a secret. So, you know, kind of doing something for somebody you want to do something for on Valentine's Day, and you got to keep it a secret, that's not going to work out, okay? Maybe this person is... <laughs> thinking i'm hearing thinking about the bigger picture this person wants to celebrate with you on holidays maybe that's what really triggers this person to thinking about you even more than they think about you on a regular basis like this person really wants to put in work to come in towards you they're fighting every urge to do so okay this person said they know if they did tell you to get it together and get dressed or if they do tell you to get it together and get dressed you are going to look bad as hell you are going to look like uh, Every, yeah, it's no doubt in this person's mind. You, they, they gonna want to. Oh wow, okay. For some of y'all, this person is going to ask you out. This person is setting up some sort of date so that they can't ask you out if they can't ask you to date because uh, they got a lot of eyes on them. They want to be able to take their time with you. They want to be able to spend some time with you so they're moving strategically. All right, they may not be able to spend some time with you today, but they most definitely want to spend some time with you soon. They think that they're going to make up for this lost time, the times that they had to hide this secret, this lover's secret, but they know that when they let you or express to you that they want to take you somewhere, that you're going to put it the fuck on. Okay, this person said they be turning 
turned on when you just got on sweatpants and a shirt or something simple. They can see the shape or the things that you have that they like about you through your clothes. It's kind of like they got x-ray vision. They can just see through your clothes, okay? This person be looking at the cootie mommy a lot. This person want to get in the cootie mommy. This person want to grab the cootie mommy. This person trying to show the cootie mommy some love. So the person knows that they want to take care of you. They want to satisfy you. So they're not going to rush. They're not going to, you know, keep, keep it with the quickie energy. They didn't want to meet you on Valentine's Day just for a quickie unless you wanted one. <laughs> this person that you can have them whenever you want them they with it okay they over there chilling but if you call them they'll give you what you want but this person wants to show you more than that this person doesn't want you to only depend on valentine's day to get love from them this person wants to show you love on the regular yeah this person said they ain't studying nobody no way they not with this whole okay on valentine's day let me go ahead and tap in this is the only time that i can show some love for somebody hell no he knows that it's people that want to get something or receive something from him on this day that's gonna be stalking him and he gonna have to fight their asses off and he definitely don't want that phone ringing or he definitely don't want people trying to set him up and calling him and asking him all kind of shit i know y'all like well why them girls still got his number some of these women have uh conned the, the number out of their masculine's pockets okay so what i'm hearing is some of these women are whores right so if they sleep with his homeboy then they probably you know drug him up or they be drugged up they pass out they either be drunk or whatever they go through their phone and get his phone number they stalk him some sort of way pay 70 bucks for some little stalking site to get his recent number he still has the same working phone number maybe this person got i'm here i got two phones so this person could possibly have one for the plug and one for the lewd okay so this person probably got a phone for when he work and a phone for when he fraternized you know what i'm saying um they hating because you got both numbers hey <laughs> but anyways that's what i heard but anyways um yeah like this masculine uh just wants to have a full a long time with you without people trying to interrupt because they know that he doesn't take breaks he doesn't celebrate these holidays but holidays like this trigger him to want to do more for you so whatever he is planning in the background know that he's going to give you an opportunity and this opportunity is going to be worth the wait so don't be so stuck in these holidays maybe you're not so stuck in these holidays but i'm telling you you're making him want to change it up he wants to get you flowers maybe he's going to give you flowers he's going to give you a gift okay and he's gonna you know you you guys are going to spend some time somewhere and get something to eat i'm here and get something to drink y'all are going to be able to talk and really get to know each other and then them clothes coming off <laughs> y'all gonna be in there with the lovers embrace locked up like crabs okay this person has literally been putting this together and i know you like oh blah 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 i've been waiting on this i've been hearing the same reading well you know um again it's worth the wait you heard that too of being at one time but now nah, i'll be as a side some people have already gotten their marriage proposals some people have already went on their sneaky links some people have already went on their dates you gotta wait on your turn but it's a lot of love that's coming together so you know you just sit here you listen to the other love learn how to keep your heart chakra open baby and it's gonna be you one of these go rounds okay i know it's gonna be me one of these go around huh i don't just read y'all positive energy and don't be hoping and wishing on mine too love all right anyway so this masculine has already put together this whole plan of how he wants to take care of you and take care of your body honey so all you got to do is keep taking care of yourself drink your water eat your fruit mind your business all right <laughs> and uh this person is most definitely going to come and embrace you and something about an unhealing and release something like a union y'all coming together okay so it's like this person it, he just needs it okay he needs your energy he needs to be around you not in a bad way but you know he got energy that you want to you want to be around him all the time too you just got to know that this man is planning this extravagant getaway rendezvous whatever that's going to need to be put in the movies need to be put in the books okay this person just is going to spend a lot of time with you only you and that's how he wants it because no one else can amount to what you amount to. No one else can do what you do to him, okay? He wants to come and tell you that, maybe discuss with you how much he feels about you. And uh, maybe about a situation in the past he wants to talk about. What's the situation in the past? He wants to talk about a situation in the past, maybe of someone speaking on you. Maybe he wants some clarity about a situation or he probably wants you to forgive him about a situation. Uh, that's going to heal some sort of issue maybe that he had in his love life something that he wants uh you to forgive him for just know that whatever mistake this is it's not anything like oh i got a baby <laughs> i don't think it is i don't think it's nothing like nothing wild like it needs to be on more or no shit like that but it's something that he needs to tell you that happened in the past maybe before he got to really know you like that 
uh, something that was going on, like I said, a, a point or something that needs clarification that was holding you guys back. Or maybe y'all just need to have a conversation on all the people in the past that were possibly holding you guys back. That was two-faced, that was crooked. You know, whatever it is, you guys are going to heal from whatever conversation this is about. But somebody wants forgiveness for something. And if you don't want forgiveness for something, then maybe this masculine. But just remember that he's making the effort to be honest to you, whether this is something you want to hear or not. This maybe have been something that you know that someone wants to trigger you to where you walk out on this masculine but do not do that all right understand that this person is truly sorry and whatever incident that this was or whatever shit that this was that he has to expose to you is the reason why he knows that you're his only love and he chose you because he feels so bad for something so small and he's like i really must care about her for that okay anyways now uh this might also have something <laughs> finances were the reason why he was held back maybe he uh was tired of giving money to people who claimed to deal with him and love him so he was you met him at a point where he really had his hands on his pockets maybe he was a very gen generous masculine and uh now he was to the point where he wasn't giving nobody shit because he was tired of getting used he didn't want to have love or nothing like that because he was tired of getting used and then you popped your ass up and you changed his whole life okay he's freeing himself from those binds and he wants to free you from yours that's why he's going to take you away so you guys can chill and get to know each other and the holy spirit is going to make sure this happens and the reason the holy spirit is putting hold ups on it because of the things that are people doing things that people are doing in the background and don't think that it's just oh they keep doing spell work so they keep stopping me or they keep slowing me down no uh these people have to really be reprimanded because the holy spirit is even looking at these people like y'all have really lost y'all mind like y'all really going in like y'all are psycho let me make sure y'all don't bother these people so certain things have to be set up to get these people out of y'all way to get these people out of scope a lot of people got to go to jail a lot of people got to be reprimanded a lot of people got to have their spiritual gifts taken away and stripped from them you know what i'm saying because they were doing things against you guys so you guys wouldn't come together but you guys have too much passion for each other this is truly your soulmate you guys have called each other in because you've healed your heart chakras are open it's a lot of passion in between you guys y'all just have to clear the air so it's going to happen i'm hearing some sort of lies maybe lies that were told to keep you guys from believing that you were each other's soulmate maybe this person needs some sort of validation like i said some sort of clarity about the situation and he has to get that clarity from you all right so uh the situation calls for you to let go of your control issues i'm also hearing because people are trying to plan on your relationship by listening in or trying to get readings and all that shit like that and the best thing to do with someone who went and asked another person about someone's future someone with foresight the best thing to do is to never have a plan at all so the holy spirit said let go of your control issues and stay optimistic all right pay attention to the red flags pay attention to when some situations are like let's say you wanted to talk to this masculine or you wanted to say something to him but you felt like maybe this ain't a good time for me to do so don't you know what i'm saying maybe not all right ask the holy spirit if you know you read cards ask the cards uh ask for a certain sign from the holy spirit use a pendulum if you have one you know it's most definitely the one, but it's most definitely a lot of people trying to stop it. And you can't rush what God is trying to set up for y'all, okay? Everything needs to be set up right. Somebody might have to go to, you know, for a couple of readings I did. Somebody might have to go to jail. You know, the police got to catch up with this person before you guys are able to be free to not have to deal with somebody doing spell work on the plane that y'all going to take y'all ass across seas on. You know what I'm saying? Weird shit like that. Yeah, separation. A lot of these people need to be physically, like, physically put physically tied down in some sort of way so that you guys can separate from them because they they're refusing to let y'all go okay the holy spirit is like this is too fucking much they're refusing to let y'all go woe is me energy because they know that this masculine is going to get engaged to you he's going to take you somewhere he's going to give you a ring and he's going to let you know maybe after y'all have this conversation that he's here to help you he only wants to take care of you he only wants to be there for you maybe you were telling him that you had a lot of shit going on in your life he thought you were lying because maybe other bitches was telling him your story you know what I'm saying? To make it seem like, oh, she's just a liar like the rest of them. And then he fucked around to find out that this shit is real. And so now he wants to apologize for not believing you, apologize for not helping you earlier, show you that he feels like he should have been there for you earlier because he knows that you're supposed to be with him. All right. He also want to flirt with you. He also want to let you know how he loves how you take care of yourself. He loves how you bring out the childness in him so that he doesn't have to be serious or on guard all the time. He can really let his guard down with you guys. And that's why what that's why he want to get married. All right, the situation he's literally gonna get engaged to you on this little thing. Yeah, he's gonna give you this ring that's cute chemistry. He's giving her something like a little ball of light. He's literally going to maybe pop it on you somewhere. Y'all sitting down talking, the next thing you know, he reach over and he just give you that ring. Ooh, 
okay? And then y'all spirits going to, you know, align and whatever. Y'all going to reconcile in the spiritual and in the physical, you know? It's going to happen real soon on this retreat, like the Holy Spirit say. Just chill out. This is most definitely the one, okay? There's no need to question. Keep an open mind. This is true love. You guys are going to have a moment to get to know each other. And you're going to both give this relationship a chance. Trust and believe that you're going to have a lot of children. Sheesh. Okay, with this new love because this man is... This man is going to be fruitful, all right? <laughs> okay, even though there are people out here trying to deceive you guys, y'all know that the yeah, so boom, in the, the deception that was going on, it's it's to a point now where it's, it's, it's no point in them doing it, but they're still doing it. This masculine is going to know when someone's sending him a negative thought about you, he's going to say, fuck that. This masculine is going to know when someone's trying to put something in his head about you, he's going to be like, fuck that. Vice versa, same with you, okay? Both of y'all know. Y'all are attracted to each other. Y'all are not codependent on each other. And that's what keeps this relationship strong because these people who want to deceive you could possibly play off your codependency. So let's say it was a moment that you couldn't meet up with him when you wanted to or he wanted to meet up with you and you couldn't meet up with him when he wanted to. And then somebody will have that first doubt of, oh, maybe they cheat on me. Maybe they're doing this. Maybe they're doing that. And it's bullshit. You ain't got to worry about it. Both of y'all know. Ain't nobody got time for that. This person ain't doing that to me. This is not that type of person. Okay, so y'all don't have anything to play off of like y'all did in the past life. Um, it's just a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that you guys have to have, uh, maybe about his disbelief, maybe about him ignoring or, you know, trying to suppress his feelings for you because of his surroundings. It's something he just feels like he needs to get off his chest because he wants to be honest with you. So like I said, it's nothing that needs to be on Maury, but it's just him trying to be honest with you so that there's nothing that he feels like he has to hide from you, Okay. So once again, after this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit is just telling you this this is most definitely worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I know you ready. I know you got romantic feelings for this person. This person feel hella, hella strong for you too. But y'all got to just chill on it. Holy Spirit said it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be the love of a lifetime, okay? Now, this man's going to say, um... He like your nipples. Um, he just came out the gate with it. He just said we're gonna get to the good nasty stuff. We're not gonna spend time on that love and stuff. He said we spend 16 odd minutes on that there. We gotta talk about what I love about her, cause this is what I think about, okay? He said it's something about the way you walk. He love your nipples. It's like like I told you, you can have sweatpants and a t-shirt on, and this mask is like I can still see the curves of them top ties. I can still see the nipples through that shirt or that bra. I'm trying to feel and see where they at. Something about the way you walk, it's like he can tell you keep your legs closed or some weird shit like that. Like you don't have the type of I, I don't know but he said something about you don't have the type of wall to look like you share your shit with everybody you look like you keep it to yourself but you got something in there that can pack a punch okay this person said uh someone's love language is showing you okay maybe that's what he wants to do he wants to show you or maybe your love language is showing and you have been showing him and that's why he get hard just thinking about you because this person's like he want to show you some or you be showing his ass something and he just be like woof I don't get this nowhere else and I need this all the time. He was that's what I'm telling you. He said, listen, like, 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 like you show me that you want me. And I like that. Okay. He said it be getting wet nasty. Y'all be in there doing the choking thing. Okay. You might be up there putting your hands around his neck. Maybe that's what he wants you to do. Or he might be, you know, over there with you, you know, choking you, holding you down. Okay. This person said he loved kissing on you. Okay. It's to the point that where now when he see you, he need a kiss. And when y'all leave, he need a kiss. He gonna let you know that. Yeah. And he gonna let you know that why he long D strong stroking your home girl. He said he know his uh D D can have people who really didn't even care about him stuff. So he most definitely gonna put in to showing you some love, okay? He said that he's going to tell you that maybe he's gonna kiss you while he choking you. Oh, this person got a lot that he wanna do to you, honey. Okay? He said he don't care <laughs> about nothing nobody had to say to you about you in the past. Okay, this could possibly be the part where he needs a little clarity. Maybe it's some stuff he's curious about. Like, did you really do this? Did you really do that? Or now I'm hearing he's obsessed and possessive with that mouthpiece and that and, and that body and, and your cootie mama. He just pretty much like, you you uh did you ever sleep with somebody like you be sleeping with me? And I'm hearing home girl, you gonna say you didn't and he gonna think you alive, but he's eventually going to believe you. All right, it's certain things and certain ways that you can make a feminine open up to you that she won't open up that way to anyone else so just explain that to him all right <laughs> uh yeah okay he said when he be you know after y'all get done doing what y'all doing he gonna put it on you he gonna dress you up with it real nice okay he said he gonna put it on your face unless that's what you like i'm just telling you what he said he said he want to really go there with you he's been watching videos holding out he wants to do what they be doing in them videos and he gonna try to do a couple things like that to you i'm hearing that's why he be climbing all up and in there with the long long d uh, uh long d willy yeah this this may be all in your guts home girl 
He said he loved from the, he loved it from the back because he liked when it ass move like jello. He also loves to pull that hair. All right, that's one thing he like to do. Maybe that's what he do when he back there pull your hair, uh, your booty boo like jello. He be like, yeah, that's what I like. And then next thing you know, phew, and it's everywhere. All right. <laughs> This masculine likes to do some nasty things. Maybe in the past, he did nasty things with multiple people. Okay, so now this person feels like uh, he ready for you to get naked. He want to show your whole body some love. Maybe he want to... I don't know. He feel like you got multiple personalities up in there. He trying to meet that other one. Maybe you told him you got another one up in there and want to show him something. He trying to see who that is and what that be like. He trying to get you to match his energy, okay? He said he has deep feelings for you and he ain't never had sex with nobody like he had with you. Now you make it, you got him out here shopping on some little nasty sites, okay? He got a couple toys he want to use. He like, damn, I ain't never wanted to or ever felt like I had to try to put in more than what I already put into sex. But he was like, he is really trying to turn you out to where you don't go nowhere else, okay? So he he he, he hit you. He be climbing all the little up in them guts because he feel like that's what females love is when somebody all up and in their guts so he feel like if he stay up in there you won't never need nobody else to be up in there that's what he said all right and he said with these toys and things he said he know how certain feet this is detail he said he know how certain females will go find another female because he has heard from other females that um women know how to please other women i don't know but that's what he says and he say that uh that's why he finna go out here and get this toy so he can take care of the little parts that he might not know that need to be taken care of because he's pretty sure them toys can do so because that's what most feminines use on feminines is toys he is really thinking intricately about how to please you okay this person wants you to call his phone more he wants you to just talk to him or he wants to call your phone more he ain't never wanted to do that again with the damn what do you do to me i really got real like like deep emotions for you okay this person said yeah why he choking you he want to be stroking from the front all right and he said he want to take it slow he want to watch it go in in and out okay sir sir this is still youtube again he like to smack that thing and he said he gonna smack it grab it slip it down he's tired of the quickies and he want more and that's exactly what the fuck he gonna get he said he be holding out and ain't no way in hell when you when, when, when he make you his he gonna keep holding out okay back to the beautiful face and love your smile you're in only love and that's all he wants to do is see you smile and maybe uh make love faces is what i'm hearing okay this person said he like to touch even if y'all was sitting down netflix and chilling he wouldn't even be not able to touch you because he knows soon as he reached down there to that cootie mama that thing super soaking okay so you'll be feeling how he be feeling you'll be on 10 just like he be feeling maybe he felt like he wanted to sit down and show you that you know it's not always about sex and he just wanted to sit down and talk to you and have a conversation with you but he's not going to be able to keep his hands off you or her so get ready for the deep strokes because he coming with it okay Whew. you tired of the quickest too child so you all good with it okay y'all to the point where y'all even get it down in public okay so if y'all do go somewhere get on this date this day and the third like over there full intimacy y'all can't be in these people park getting loose y'all can't be on these people beaches getting loose go to the car have some fun that way okay this person said he wants to change your life for the better what else girl you trying to cool chair <laughs> some of this stuff i can't say and i know you like how you can't say listen girl girl your little plan for do your thing okay do your thing it's some plans you got for some fellatio. Maybe you know your fellatio is the truth and you know you can really like hook somebody with it. He already hooked. But whatever you got planned in your, your little nasty mind over there that you want to do, that you want to just throw the whole thing and, and, and do what you need, do it. Just do it. Do it. You already got him, child. Just do it. All right. He say he, say he love your toes. He love your toes. And he love to hear you moan. And I'm also hearing why you do the fellatio. Uh, if you moan and your throat box vibrate a little bit, he like that. I don't know, y'all. Jeez. This man nasty. You got him feeling some type of way on this here love day. Yes, you do. All right. This man say he smells you when you're not around and he wants to tease you with his tongue. Sheesh. He is secretly obsessed with you and he can't wait to let you know that. Um, You might be secretly obsessed with him because I heard you don't even give fellatio like that. But you don't mind giving it to this masculine and you even consider swallowing what he like to put on your skin. Y'all do y'all nasty thing. Y'all trying to make movies. All right. Um, He says he's trying to learn your body. He also wants to take you on a shopping spree because he wants to learn what you like. So he can just give you gifts because he's... He likes to gift give, okay? Uh, you want him to call you more and not just when he needs something. You don't want him calling you trying to make it up an excuse. So why he called you, you kind of like, you don't have to make it up an excuse to call me. Just call me. Like, just call me, okay? So that's then also said, um, he like when your stuff ain't got no hair on it. 
but in between time and the meantime you ain't got to do too much to make it always seem like you don't got no hair down there he said he don't mind a little bit of it he kind of may maybe even prefers it that way sometimes but if he want to go down there and do that stuff with the tongue he want it oh he said he might not care if his head on that end either he just wants you to come in he's physically affectionate and he wants to show you that because he feels like you're so sweet and you deserve it yeah that's cute he want to role play he want to let you know he love you and he feel the same way oh wow wow back shots rough back shots okay this man said the sex is amazing he gonna be switching up the tempo switching up positions and everything all right Okay, y'all, this is it. This is all my loves. Um, I hope you got what you needed from this reading. Again, do not be sad on this day. If this don't happen on this day, just know your haters is watching and they is over there damn near trying to hang themselves because they think y'all got something going on on this wonderful day. All right. And some of y'all do got something going on today. Turn up. <laughs> all right. Now I'll meet y'all in the next one.